Today on Mike's Machines, we're going to do an oil change, filter change, and we're going to change the gaskets on the outer crankcase on a 2004 Raptor 660. This is the, the bike, or the ATV rather, and we're going to do all of that on this vehicle. All right, let's get started. Okay, the reason I'm doing this is this bike has a, uh, a leak, an oil leak off this gasket here. And whenever the engine runs, it starts leaking out here rapidly. So we're going to drain the uh, oil out. We have two different drains. One is down here. Let me see if I can point. That is a um, 17 millimeter. The other one is on the bottom of the oil reservoir, which is down under here. I don't know if you could see it under here, right there, 14 millimeter. And this is going to be tricky because you got the frame right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a funnel. Okay, so we got a seven millimeter, 17 millimeter, 14 millimeter, and 14 millimeter um, ratchet socket, and then uh, two box wrenches. That's all we're going to need to do that part. Then when we take apart the case, we're going to be taking out all of these. These look like eight millimeters. So we'll be taking all that apart, but that's going to be after we drain the oil. The oil warm. You can see, you can see it's leaking out. It's leaking from right in there. I don't know if you can see it. That means we're back behind there, behind the chain. Back up in there. All right. We're going to put the 17 millimeter on the bottom right there. You see that? I'm going to break it. So we're going to put the 17 millimeter box wrench on that bolt down there. We're going to break it loose. without getting oil all over my hands. Hold on. So, i got some rubber gloves on so it doesn't matter about the oil. Let me take this rain plug out. And there we go. Get all that oil out which looks pretty nasty. It's been in there a while. Okay. Drain plug, drain plug looks good. I'm going to let that drain. Move on to the next one. I mentioned you want to get all the oil out. What you do is get anything, get a block of wood, you get an old brake drum or something and put up the opposite side so that the bike's tilted and then it drains out as, as best as possible as best as possible I wasn't able to film taking the oil out of the uh, right here of the reservoir because I had to hold the uh, I had to hold the funnel with one hand. We're going to take the bolt out with the other hand, and then once it started running, I couldn't switch to the phone. So, needless to say, it's done. It's cleaned up, as you can see, and all the oil is down there. So, we're moving on to taking off the case. So, I went ahead and removed the case, and I see what the problem was. I had really dry and brittle gasket on there from the previous owner and he used you can see here he used some red um, silicone to kind of seal it up this is where it was leaking from over over in here and he did a shitty job at it so 
we're going to clean this all up, get rid of all of that on there. Clean up. I've already started cleaning a little bit. You can see along here, I'm trying to get off. This stuff was caked on really bad. And I'm cleaning it up all the way around. Then I'm going to put some gray uh, silicone, which you should use when you have something that vibrates a lot, like a single single cylinder engine vibrates a lot. So the red is not the best one to use. The red is good for high temp, but you need a uh, you need the gray silicone, which is is uh, good for vibration. And we're going to put a little bit of that on there, and then we're going to put the the gasket on and um, hopefully it won't leak. All right, we're gonna get to that part. I'm gonna finish cleaning. Oh, and uh, yes, everything was, was eight millimeter. Here's there, there's um, five bolts across the top, the top of the case up along here, there's five. And then there was four, four bolts that, uh, that held on. This is the gear that runs the, um, that runs the generator. There's a generator right there. And this gear meshes up. The, the generator goes through there. That post, that post right there, goes through here, and meshes up with this. And then, uh, and then you just take off the rest. There's, there's, they're all eight millimeter. There's, these are these four are for this. These four are the bottom of the case along the bottom here. And then these five run along the top. And then these are just the access points. For, uh, for right here and for right there. Okay, I'm gonna continue cleaning this thing up and then uh, once I apply the silicone and get the gasket on there, I'll start up again. So I cleaned up the case, both the little one for the alternator, the big one, got the gaskets on, put the gray silicone, that's vibration uh, resistant on there let it cure up and uh, put everything back i don't know the torque specs i'm thinking they're probably about 15 to 18 foot pounds for those little those little uh eight millimeters i don't have a service manual so but that's what i did it to did it to 15. now on this side you gotta take the uh you gotta take the the uh, oil filter off from this side, and there's absolutely no way to not have it leak down onto your shaft, or rather your uh, frame, and onto the lower part of the uh, the engine case. So let it drip, and then once you're done, little uh, brake cleaner will clean that oil right off, and then it will a rag will straighten it up. Okay, so I'm having it leak right now and then I'm going to put the new one on.